What's going on, everyone? So in the previous episode, we saw Julie and her curiosity lead her to the ruins in which she entered the ruins and chaos ensued, right? So in episode seven, Julie and Randall are just kind of messing around, trying to teach Julie how to drive. Randall has this freak out and has a freak out right in front of the ruins. Well, not directly in front, but you know, uh, and on the road outside of the ruins. And then he runs into the, the woods, Julie chases after him, and then they eventually stumble into the ruins where they both feel this presence, this like calling to them almost, right? Julie even says, do you feel that? Randall convinces them both to leave. Uh, and then in episode eight, we see Julie say, no, hey, I need to get back there. She takes Ethan I don't know why you'd take your younger brother to go to this place where you were essentially trapped in hell, but hey, you know, to the best of them. Um, and she attempts to take Ethan into this into this ruin, and Ethan ends up getting held back while Julie appears to enter uh, the, the dungeon that we saw Boyd in and that her, Marielle, and Randall were trapped in. Now... The question becomes how, like, what is it that got sent there? Right? I've seen people say, oh, it's her, it's in her mind, like it's her, her mind going there. I don't really buy that it's the mind because we've seen characters like Boyd be able to get there and he used the torch, right? It, it, it clearly seems to be another dimension, like a pocket dimension. But we've seen the body stay behind. And I think it's like the spirit or the essence, right? Like you, you're, you're the being inside of you, you know, ends up in this other realm that it's like the spiritual realm almost. And I also think that that fits more of the story and the theme, right? You look at, um, you know, like, the, the kimono lady and the boy in white and all these, you know, dead, past dead people that everyone is talking to and stuff, right? It appears to be, you know, spirits or essence uh, that it seems to be what is trapped or um, is able to kind of maneuver and operate in Fromville. So I do think it's kind of like, you know, the spirit leaving the body and going to this other dimension. Uh, and... That's also why I think it makes sense why you see different interactions and, like, you can physically touch and help people, right? Like, Boyd is able to break the chains for Martin and, you know, physically touch Martin and Julie and all them, right? Like, there, there's a, an interaction that is beyond just, like, the mind, in my opinion. Um, but we don't have an exact, like, hey, what's the deal? What's going on here? So, you know, we have to um, keep all possibilities open. I say it all the time with Fromville, right? Like nothing is a certainty, right? Like nothing is guaranteed until it is, right? So, and I'm not going to rule out the possibility of like it being this mind cave or mind dimension. Um, however, I just believe it's the spirit. It's the essence. But one sequence that ended up happening is Julie goes into the cave and she starts to witness different events and it seemed to be almost like a, a ripple in time almost right like whether it's time travel or you know it's just like memories of the past if it is maybe a mind thing whatever but they couldn't be julie's memories because julie wasn't there for any of these things other than being chained up and tied up and we find out that julie's the one that gave the rope to boyd so boyd could get out of the chimney but Martin sees Julie and knows exactly who she is. And Martin calls her by her name. And Julie even says, like, how do you know my name? How did Martin know Julie's name? Martin had never encountered Julie. Martin had no knowledge of Julie. As far as we know, there's no Martin that him and Julie would have known together. And is it, wasn't Martin supposed to be a character that was there eons ago, right? Like, maybe not really eons ago, but like he was there long, long ago, before, long before Julie and them ever got there. And he's been chained up for all this time. I mean, he didn't even know who Boyd was. 
Boyd didn't even know who he was, but he knew who Julie was. Is this again? Here's here's kind of my hypothesis. Here's my theory. Here's my idea on that. Julie, that th this really is a time manipulation thing. I think that what the dungeon is is another sort of portal, like we've seen, like with the you know the trees and stuff. But this is a portal of time. And time isn't just a straight linear line um, in Fromville. And I've talked about the potential of, is it possible that Julie could enter this dungeon and navigate different times throughout Fromville, right? So, you know, for example, let's say her mom goes into the caves and ends up getting eaten by monsters, Right. Would Julie then be able to go into the dungeon, go into the cave, grab her mother, save her mother before her mother ever ended up getting eaten by the monsters and thus her mother is saved, right? Like, I think what it is, is Julie was always meant to find that dungeon. I think she is, she is kind of like the time navigator, so to speak. And so Martin being that like his role is to be chained up in that dungeon, right? Like that, that entry point is where Martin is and Julie just like clockwork, you know, like time kind of like she's always going to get to that point. Right. And then that's the point where she discovers and realizes and learns that she is able to manipulate time. Right. And then her curiosity, because I do believe her curiosity, she's going to keep going back there. I don't believe she's just going to stop going to that place. I think she's going to keep going there and she's going to peel back a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more until she gets to the center. And now she's going to finally figure out and navigate and be able to realize that that's the place. Right. Because Martin also says, you know, it's not safe here, you should go, but, but we find out that he's talking to Julie and whatnot, right? So, like, is there another being there? Is there a monster there? Is there some, like, timekeeper that is there that maybe Julie's going to run into and have an encounter with at some point? Uh, I, I mean, the possibilities are truly endless as far as, like, what Julie could do, but I think that the reason Martin knew who Julie was is because Julie has always ended up in that point, right? Like, it's it's almost like Groundhog Day because that's the place in which time can be manipulated. And so Julie, her being kind of like the, the jumper or whatever, or the, you know, the time navigator, right? I think that she's always just going to, we're, we're, we're witnessing a specific timeline. Almost like we're we're watching the past starting to, to catch up, right? And so Julie is now um, at the point where she's discovered this, but it's already happened, right? So Martin has knows Julie because he's been to that point. They've had that encounter. They he already knows this, and he's living this like time loop, right? Where it's like okay. Here we go, you know, because he's trapped in the dungeon. Like, that's his destination. That's his thing. Because we don't know anything about Martin outside of, like, him being chained up in the, in the thing. Like, think of, uh, you know, what's the, the Greek mythology where he's responsible to, like, hold up the, the earth stuff, right? Like, that's his role, right? And he has to do that forever, for eternity. Or, you know, the the one that has to push the boulder up the hill over and over and then rolls back down. He's got to do it again over and over. Like that's Martin. Martin is meant to be chained up in that place. He is kind of like the, Hey, you know, I have to encounter Boyd or whoever else comes to this dungeon. He's kind of like the middleman for the dungeon, um, that has the worms that it was supposed to transfer it. Boyd completed his, his task. So Martin, that's the end of Martin, but that timeline that, that spot in time still exists. That spot in time is still there. That spot in time is still relevant. And Julie can get to that spot in time through the dungeon. So I think the dungeon is this sort of portal that Julie has now, has now finally came to the discovery of. And I think that she'll keep 
poking and prodding and ending up there. Like, I wouldn't even be shocked if she ends up getting stuck there, right? And maybe years have passed for her, but in the real world, it's only been, you know, maybe minutes or seconds or hours, right? Like, I mean, one, that's just a common trope. (laughs) <laughs> right? Like anytime that there's time where it's like, oh, I, I was, in, I was locked in there for, th- I mean, look at like the Avengers, right? Or like the, you know, every Marvel movie, somebody gets trapped in time for a hundred years, but really it's like days, right? Like, uh, you know, Ant-Man where he's like, you know, yeah, I was there for what it was 50 years or whatever, but it was really five minutes, right? I could see something like that with Julie, where she ends up in this place. And for her, it was an eternity, but for, you know, the real world time, or Fromville time, it was five minutes. But a lot of different ways that this can go and explore. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, and I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Um, do you agree? Do you think that, like, yes, clearly this is a place of time. Martin knew who she was because she's always meant to go there, always meant to be there. Um, you know, maybe they have an encounter and interaction at some point, uh, whatever your theories and ideas are about this, I'd love to hear it. So let me know either way down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me not. So we enjoy these types of videos and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.